City to discuss the fentanyl crisis happening here in our state. Officials are urging people to learn about this powerful drug to hopefully prevent another fatal overdose. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne was at the panel tonight and is joining us now with a message from officers and victims. Christian. Yeah, it's a drug we are starting to hear more and more about, and that could be part of the solution. The FBI, DEA, and local officials are urging parents to talk about kids, to talk to kids about these drugs because these deaths are happening in small and big towns daily. Fentanyl, a man-made drug that's reaching hundreds and many aren't surviving, like Lisa Dean's son. He went into New Haven and um, bought drugs and uh, overdosed. Actually, it was a fentanyl poisoning he died of, um, and we got that call. Lisa urges parents to check on their kids before they get a similar call. Tonight, she joined the FBI, DEA, and Waterbury Police to say prevention is possible. We could really just assume that all our overdose cases, whether fatal or non-fatal, um, have a level of fentanyl, uh, and fentanyl is involved. Um, and, you know, weekly the numbers are growing. I mean, we could have upwards of uh, a half dozen or a dozen non-fatal overdoses for a week. In a week, Waterbury could see about two overdose fatalities. Luckily, Captain Michael Ponzillo says schools were given Narcan, the drug that reverses an overdose, a move that came after a 13-year-old Hartford student lost his life to fentanyl. The more we can do as a community to help eradicate this thing, the best it will be for everybody involved. Officials say no matter the age, people need to know they shouldn't take medications from anyone that's not a pharmacy, especially as several pill presses have been confiscated in the state. And a pill could be a deadly mix, but decorated to look like something over the counter. Watch their habits, pay attention to how they're living, and things change. And when those things change, remember me saying it goes from recreation, pain, to a dependency to an addiction. And earlier this month, two Hartford residents were caught with 16 kilos of fentanyl, including over 16,000 fentanyl pills. And if you want to learn more about prevention programs, we, we, we will have some helpful tips on the Channel 3 app. In the newsroom tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Christian, thank you very much. Right now at 11, the very latest on the coronavirus.